Goodbye Zihuatanejo and hello to Acapulco. So we've got 110 miles ahead of us, so another overnighter, surprise, surprise. But the wind is fantastic and it should be with us for the next 14 hours. So we've been waiting for about 10 days for a great weather window and hopefully today is the day. So let's hope we don't have to switch on the uh, iron Genoa and we can make these 110 miles under sail. Great start so far. Well, that departure was a little sooner than expected. We've been watching the, the weather really carefully the whole time we're in Zihuatanejo uh, because the next jump that we're making right now to Acapulco uh, is quite a long way. Uh, we've got about 110 miles to cover and there is basically no wind uh, on this part of the coast ever since we got south of Cabo Corrientes uh, way back up near Puerto Vallarta. Uh, the wind is super calm and there's really no weather to speak of. Uh, on most of this coast. So yeah, that's what it is. A surprise departure, but we gave the boat a really quick turnaround from anchor mode uh, to sailing mode. And uh, here we are underway, just ready to watch the sunset. As soon as the galley brings some snacks and a few light refreshments, maybe. That's the only thing missing from this sail. It's all I'm good for, isn't it? Food and service. It's nice to see how he sees himself. Helpful and keen. <laughs> Adaptable, flexible, keen, all of those things. It's bloody hot. So I said to the captain, can I go swimming? Answer is no. So you know what I got? A bucket and sponge. <laughs> oh yes. It's going to be the first mate fresh until the morning, I think. Slight odour of bleach. <laughs> Oh, this is better. I feel like a reborn man. Ready to jump? Uh, yep, ready. Just beware of the swell. Ready to jump? That's it. Who is the jibing king? <laughs> <laughs> you got that job talking. There you go. I'm done for the day. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. See you in Acapulco. <laughs> I'll be down below if you need me. <laughs> uh, we really like this point of sail. It's not really one for the hardcore sailors who would rather be uh, jibing downwind, in and out, zigzagging everywhere to get the best VMG. Uh, but it's dawned on us over the years that we're not really hardcore sailors and uh, it works just perfectly for us. Once we've got the uh, head sail pulled out and the main secured with the preventer, you have quite a lot of flexibility, plus minus, really kind of like, plus minus 15 degrees from dead downwind. So on a typical downwind cruising route, like we almost always do, uh, you can kind of point where you want and uh, it's maintenance free for the night. It can be easily managed by one person. So that's really important as well. Uh, it's dead easy to just roll up either of the sails uh, or jibe uh, either of them from the cockpit even. So uh, yeah, it's uh, maintenance free, lazy cruising and it works just fine. And that's me done for the night as well. Someone wake me up when we get to Acapulco. Last bit of the sun and off we go into total darkness. Tonight is a new moon, so we picked really well. Let's hope for the stars, eh? Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Midnight drama already. Uh, we don't have any fantastic charts of this area, which is our first problem, first mistake. Uh, so I'm consulting three different charts at the same time, and they all have some area of shoal uh, marked just off our starboard uh, quarter. Uh, we are in the middle of the sea, but suddenly our depth sounder started reading 17 feet. Uh, it's quite a way off, we're nowhere really near it, um, but these charts are not super reliable. 
just keeping a close eye on things. I don't think the depth sounder has a good lock on anything. Uh, it's just interference and it's, it's flashing uh, with its readings, so it can't be relied on right now. And hopefully it's just gonna pop back to life and show 300 feet underneath us. There should actually be a few thousand feet right now. So uh, we should be fine. Just to captain being overly cautious here. So panic over, I think we're through the worst of it. We just had a reading of 167 and rising. Uh, so we can relax and settle into the night shift now. Well, good morning. We have been motoring since 2 a.m. The catabatic winds arrived, but a bit backfired on us. Uh, they are directly from our nose. About 22 miles away from Acapulco, and it doesn't look very good that we will be able to sail for the rest of the journey. Which is a bummer because those winds are beautiful. They are like 13, 14 upper end wind. So it would have been amazing, but it's coming directly from where we are going. I just put the main up and all we can do is motor sell really. 18 miles to go. Well, captain's back up and the sails are back out. Engine's off, peace and quiet is restored. The first mate tried his best. He says he's up to the job, but you know, I have my doubts. It really wasn't what we were expecting from the catabatics, but the, uh, the geography of uh, Acapulco Bay uh, must be drawing all these catabatics down and out of it. May I remind everyone that I got the main out and proven that actually we can motor sail later on sail. I can't remember the last time we've been going upwind for so long, other than to just get out of an anchorage. It's not the kind of sailing we normally sign up for. Well, you know what they say, a real gentleman doesn't sail upwind. What does it make you then? <laughs> I do know what they say about me. Below deck. It's vicious rumours down below, within the crew. They take no prisoners below deck on Bohemia, let me tell you. Vicious. That is the biggest city we've seen in a long time. It's crazy. So busy. But it's gorgeous. So the, the setting of these houses on the cliffside and the color of the water is just breathtaking. Well, I do like the outskirts of Acapulco. Very fancy. Looks like we arrived somewhere in Los Angeles or Laguna Beach. This will be going local down in Acapulco if you stay too long. Oh gosh, we didn't pay for that, did we? <laughs> Suppose that gonna, comes for free. Yeah, you're gonna get it whether you like it or not. <laughs> we have a contact here in Acapulco who runs four mooring boards. So I spoke to him yesterday. He's expecting us, so uh, let's hope he's there because we have no idea where we're going. Adios. Ah, he's waiting for us. He's gonna have a Mexican sombrero and a white and red t-shirt. <laughs> Very patriotic. Aren't they all? <laughs> I still can't believe that we are arriving in Acapulco. Exactly 20 years ago, I was here when I was working on a QE2 for Cunard. And I would have never imagined then that I will return 20 years later on our own boat. I feel a bit nostalgic and a bit emotional, kind of being back somewhere after 20 years. Has it changed that much in the last 20 years? I don't think so. And neither have you. <laughs> well, I mean, look at me. <laughs> Not a day older. Vicente. ¿Qué tal, Pedro? Tomás. Bienvenido a Acapulco. Sí, there is a captain. Four years old and already on the outboard. <laughs> Start young over here. Just imagine what I'd be like if I started at that age. Competent. <laughs> Welcome to our new home in downtown Acapulco. Fantastic, and the water is clean enough that we can actually swim here as well. 
you know, it's just like being at anchor without any trouble. <laughs> we Un hope. Until the mooring snaps. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're definitely gonna set the AIS alarm if we are dragging or not. That's for sure. It looks very nice, very classy. All of the buildings and the boats. Everything how you left it? Oh, 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. I know him. <laughs> oh, I know him. <laughs> it was BT before Tom. Happy days, <laughs> some, some would say. Those were the years. Oh, better go tell everyone that the bitch is back, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Speechless! That got, got him. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> oh, this is starting to get exciting now. The sun is catching us on our good side. It's going to be a great spot for the solar. Microwave, blender, everything's going to be buzzing away down there. Always love it when it catches us on our good side. He's like a sundial. Every place we anchor, he pulls his finger out and looks where the shade casts. It's only a matter of time before I start rejecting anchorages that catches on a bad side. Well, if he starts doing that, I may pull that other finger. <laughs> <laughs> See what shade that will cast <laughs> on his face. We just popped into the local marina here in Acapulco um, just to see what it's all about. Um, and for our boat, we would have to pay $50 per night. So I don't think we're going to be coming. <laughs> My next question was, can I use their little dock for our dinghy? And that is nearly $20 per day. So I also don't think we're going to be coming. <laughs> so basically we are staying where we are with Vicente on his mooring ball and we're going to leave the dinghy next to the concrete wall it's for free let's just hope the ding is still there nice okay. marina but um, you know welcome to acapulco it's expensive there we go gracefully does it This is my theft prevention motor. At least no one's going to steal this one. I'd like to see them try. It's exactly the right combination of choke and throttle and a lot of luck. There you go. Works every time. It just means one thing. I can't use it. But now it's too temperamental. Taxi service only. So I'm dependent. <laughs> The city scenery is just amazing. Very different to any of the other Mexican cities we've been to so far. It's just such a shame that it's got a bit of a notorious reputation, but you know, day one, fantastic day. Haven't been kidnapped. So far, so good. Or beheaded. We have low expectations. Well, this has given me a power trip of my life. Just doing my admin, got an email from Jessica at LinkedIn, who represents Crew Agency, and she's recruiting for first mates. She's got two yachts under her belt, both positions are Caribbean based, and it's $5,000 plus per month. What do I get here? <laughs> Peanuts and abuse. <laughs> Dear Jessica, I wish to accept your offer immediately. <laughs> oh, well, this is it. Now I know I've got options. The company's gonna regret it. I want five grand every month. Otherwise, I'm off to the Caribbean with Jessica. <laughs> Look what we've got. These things are like gold dust over here. This is a two-stroke Yamaha outboard and uh, Vicente uh, really helped us to take a tour of the town yesterday and introduce us to some people that might want to sell one to us. Uh, so we got lucky and found one. It's a little bit older than the old outboard that we're replacing but it should run much better, be much more reliable and uh, it's a lot more powerful. So I'm looking forward to blasting around the anchorage later and trying it out. It doesn't look much, but it's going to turn our dinghy into jet ski. You watch. 
I hope you're not gonna flip. <laughs> Ready? That's better. We're getting somewhere. We're moving. Oh, she runs like a tree. Very reliable so far on our little test run. I know it doesn't look much, but it runs really well. I just hope we haven't gone from bad to worse. <laughs> I love in Acapulco all these hidden beaches. You're in a town centre, but little coves absolutely everywhere. So we dive in from here then, right? Looks refreshing. We are off to see the cliff divers, a local attraction. It looks really fun, so I can't wait to see them. It's uh, a bit nail biting stuff though. They go from really high. So uh, let's wish them luck rather them than me. Ready for your jump? I'll make sure them how it's done. <laughs> Well, it's a big ass day. The captain's gonna be practicing from top of the mast now. <laughs> Just a little push. I'm sure he will be fine. Maybe after happy hour, we'll see. Sounds like a good idea at the time. Hold my beer. We just paid 50 pesos entry to see this. I'll give you 50 pesos for that. <laughs> Wouldn't you? What an amazing show. So brave. I don't think I'll be trying that in a hurry, despite the first mate's wishes. Muchas gracias, fui fantástico. Tequila! Muchas gracias. We don't want to be the laughing stock in a marina, frankly. We got the class. Again, just like the first mate. You gonna tell everyone that the bitch is back, huh? <laughs> now I know I've got options, as I'm off to the Caribbean <laughs> with Jessica. If you've been enjoying our episodes and want to stop the first mate running off with Jessica into the sunset, then please head over to www.patreon.com forward slash Sailing Bohemia, where you'll find a small menu of the first mate's favorites, just to remind him which side his bread is buttered on. Thank you so much, and cheers. If you enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to tell YouTube all about it by commenting, liking, and sharing. See you next time.